you may be wondering, with all this equipment, how do I configure my hive? Where do I start? So I'll try to explain a little bit about that. And if you're just getting going, what we'd recommend is that you get, you know, buy a T2 or buy, you know, one or two T2s. There are least expensive product and it also is going to tell you the most about your bees. So the T2 is going to tell you uh, the, the brood state. It's going to tell you if they're still alive in the winter. It's also going to tell you that they swarmed. Uh, so that is the best uh, representation of the hive health. So if you're just getting going, you know, start with that. And I'll just point out, uh, Teresa Martin wrote a great book uh, dead bees don't make honey, and in that she has a whole chapter on how to use, how she uses the uh, Broodminder T2s. She's allowed us to publish that chapter, so you'll see below here a link to that chapter. Another thing you can look at is, you know, we've also got links to our manual, which is very extensive, and we're making a lot of new videos this year. So you can take a look at that and learn a lot about the devices before you buy or you know after you buy it if you got it and want to see all the features that are active. So if you're into it more than that and you know got a little bit more money in your wallet, then you know we'd recommend the CS2 kit. CS2 kit is uh, one of these scales and then uh, two sensors for your beehive. Uh, a temperature sensor and a temperature and humidity sensor. So that will work, uh, and I'll just say, you can move all these around however you want. Uh, all the devices are independent, and they all have their own ID number, and we've got that. But that will tell you when the honey flows are going. Uh, it'll show you a lot more about the, the status of the hive. Uh, with two sensors, uh, you can put one over each brood box, and so as the brood grows from one brood box to the next, you'll see they come into temperature regulation and we'll be watching that. Uh, there again, you get all the My Broodminder features, uh, the advanced fancy features uh, are subscription based. So we have a, a link about that, but that's a good way to explore a bit more. Uh, we have a number of people who you know buy a couple of CS kits, citizen science is what CS stands for. So CS kits, and then use that in their hives, and they're happy with that. Uh, mine, I'm still using uh, scales and sensors that are over seven years old, so they're pretty durable, and we're happy with how all that's worked out. Now, expanding from there, uh, you may want to consider, as you get more devices, a hub. So we have a cellular hub that we really like the best, and it goes... <clears throat> you know, weather enclosure uh, like this, and it turns it into a weather station. So that's a really nice thing to add because all the data will automatically show up into my broodminder uh, once an hour. And if you have a swarm, it will go there actually quicker within 10 minutes. Uh, and you can go out and you know check on your swarm. But it makes it very simple. Uh, then you can really focus on the data rather than the data collection and everything. So we recommend that as you get a few more sensors. Uh, adding more sensors, I would add T2s. Uh, the health of each hive, you know, and the brood levels of each hive is very different. So, you know, once again, we love the T2 for that. Uh, it goes in, you know, the batteries last for over a year, uh, typically two. And if you have a hub, you can make it last more than five years. So that makes the maintenance of it all, uh, you know, relatively easy for what we're doing. Uh, beyond that, uh, we also have the, the BDAR, which looks like this, uh, goes on the front of the hive. Uh, it'll show you the entrance activity and the uh, sound, the buzz, uh, vibration level inside the hive. Uh, we did that mostly for the research, actually for the uh, commercial people in Europe uh, doing pollination. They want to see when the, when the bees are flying and that gives them evidence for the people they're doing it for that, you know, the pollination should be happening. Uh, it's really fascinating. It's fun to watch. Uh, you see the weather data also on my broodminder, so you can see how that does. Uh, if something uh, is bothering them at night, 
you know, you'll see the vibration level of the hive go up, but not flying in and out. So that's a, a really nice uh, thing to add. They're a bit pricey because, you know, they cost us a lot more to make. Uh, we make everything in the U.S. and in uh, Po France. So, you know, that's important to us. We make it as economically as we can. But, you know, you, you're fighting, working with that. Uh, we got several different scales you can choose from. Um, you know, research uh, situations. You want scales, BDARs. Uh, you know, we got some people out there with uh, 30 or 40 hives uh, with fully instrumented. So the system will accommodate that. Uh, my Broodminder, you'll see videos on that. Makes it very easy. Um, so if you have any questions, feel free to reach out um, through info or uh, support at broodminder.com. Michael will help you out, and if he can't, then he'll pass it to Lorenzo or me or whoever's appropriate to talk talk to you about it. So that's a little bit of the rundown. Uh, we'll put some links underneath that'll uh, help you explore further. And remember, every hive counts.